Hey y'all, it's Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House where I share DIYs and inspo for home, food, and travel all on a budget. So if you enjoy that too, please be sure and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications and YouTube should notify you every time I upload a video. At least that's my hope. So I this video is part of a challenge video, but before I tell you about that, let's go ahead and make something. The first project for today is going to be a banner and I got this paper from Hobby Lobby. The brown paper is more like a cardstock shape, uh, feel to it and then the buffalo plaid, buffalo check paper is just regular scrapbook craft paper. So I had cut out myself a template and it's a diamond shape and I'm going to be actually folding that in half to make the banner pieces. You see me folding it in half here and it just now looks like I have a bunch of little birds <laughs> lying around or something. I don't know, like origami birds is what I meant. Anyway, not real birds. So I cut out these little shapes from Cricut, um, my, using my Cricut. It's a tree shape, it's a bear shape, and I thought that would look cute on the brown paper and then alternate that with the buffalo plaid paper to make my little pennant banner. And yeah, it's really pretty simple, pretty easy. I don't think I'm explaining it very well, but you kind of get the idea. Oh, and I also have help. Hello, Captain. Thank you for joining us today. He's the supervisor on duty, making sure that my crafting is going well. And I think he's doing a pretty good job of it. So today's video is part of the Let's Go Camping DIY Decor Challenge video, and it's hosted by Megan from The Crafty Quinn, and her co-host this month is Adrian from Full Time DIY Mommy. Now you're gonna find a link to their channels as well as a link to the playlist in the description box below, and I do hope you check it out. The first step in this project was to cut this tree branch, this tree limb, I guess it's a branch. Anyway, I'm gonna cut it in three even pieces, Captain joins me to try to help and assist, but even he gives up and says, Mom, really, you should probably let Dad do this. So I said, hey, honey, I need some help, and called in Marvin. He did it. He cut it into three pieces for me. Then I hot glue it together at the corners, and then I also hot glue some popsicle sticks together because I'm going to use those in a second. I then take some twine and wrap it around the corners because I think it gives a camping vibe. I'm not really a camper, I don't really go camping. So I just took this inspo from a sign I saw at Hobby Lobby and that's how I was gonna do it. I had used my Cricut to cut out the word explore and I cut out the popsicle sticks to look like an arrow. I attached the word to that and then I hot glued it to the wood triangle and there you go. I'm taking this calendar, it's the Be Brave calendar from Dollar Tree. A lot of people were looking for this one and the farmhouse one. Anyway, I'm just cutting out one of the pictures that's on the back. It just previews what the calendar has inside of it. Then I'm trimming it up just a little bit and I'm using some cardboard to attach it to because it's a little bit bigger than the cube I usually use or the Jenga blocks. And so cutting it out and just look with cardboard, just easy peasy. Then I'm gonna glue the photo or the picture to the piece of cardboard. And I was gonna do like a second piece of cardboard, but anyway, ended up not doing that. And I just glued it to it, glued it to it. Say that three times, glued it to it, glued it to it. Anyway, I glued it together and then I glued a Jenga block to the back for stability so it would stand up on its own. And then I'm going to rough up the edges just a little bit and distress it a little bit. All right, this is the project, project number three. I'm making a tent. And what I'm using is sturdy cardboard and material that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's just a kind of like a washed denim look to it. It's not really super thick or anything like that. And it's very pliable. So I cut out a Square or rectangle shape, fold it in half to make the tent look, and I just start gluing the fabric to the cardboard. And just trying to make it look where you can't really see the wood inside, or the wood inside, can't really see the cardboard inside, and then I glue it to a base and kind of trim that up, and then we're done. 
But now I want to add a little gone fish inside. So I take a skewer and I take some little popsicle, a little popsicle stick and cut it down to size. I write gone fish in with a Sharpie marker and hot glue it together, attach it to the stick. Y'all, this is my favorite part of it because I just think it looks so cute all put together. Oh, that's the distressing ink I used. Yeah, I used distressing ink on the sign and on the stick just to make it look a little weathered, a little more natural looking, I guess. And um, y'all, like I said, I just think it turned out so cute. I'm just like, aw. I just love little miniature stuff. So anyway, that's how it turned out. Now, I'm making a backpack. And this, again, inspo from Hobby Lobby. They had a tent and a backpack little thing situation right next to each other in a camping decor area. And so just hot gluing, making a little like pouch and then I'm filling the pouch with some scraps and then um, that kind of half moon shaped thing I'm using that as the front of the backpack glue it all together now I'm taking some leather I did not get this from the Dollar Tree I got this from Hobby Lobby because I couldn't find it at Dollar Tree anyway I'm making the little straps and the little loop at the top and y'all I'm just telling you I just love the miniature stuff I just love how it turned out I love how it looks and yeah, it was pretty easy to create. Now, <laughs> I had a gone fishing sign, so I need a gone fishing fishing pole for the person that gone fishing. So that's what I'm making right now. And I'm just taking a skewer. This is not super detailed and not super, you know, whatever. But I put a little bit of the distressing ink on there so it wouldn't be just that bamboo color. And then I'm using little tiny buttons for my little reel thing, you know. Um, I don't I don't fish, I don't know what that's called. I think it's a reel and then it's attached to the rod, yeah. And so I just took some, uh, the embroidery set they sell at Hobby Lobby. No, not at Hobby, they sell it at Hobby Lobby, but I got this from Dollar Tree. Anyway, I'm just kind of like gluing it together to hopefully make it look like a fishing pole. I don't know, you tell me what you think about my job on that. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really had a lot of fun creating those camping inspired DIYs and I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did, please hit that like button, give me a thumbs up and don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 1K because when I do, I'm doing a giveaway. And one of the giveaways is that calendar that I use as well as, I'll show you, hang on, I'm back. So I'm gonna be giving away the Be Brave 2021 calendar from Dollar Tree, as well as the farmhouse one, the market one, that everybody was like, what's it called, farmer's, farmer's market one? Everybody was like looking for this one, and I'm gonna be giving away when I hit 1K. So, that kind of rhymed. Giving it away when I hit 1K, giving it away, okay. So anyway, that's gonna be part of the giveaway. There's gonna be a couple more things added to it. So if you're interested, yeah, hit the subscribe button, share with your friends, and I'll be posting on my Instagram. So speaking of, if you wanna follow me here on, or on YouTube or on Instagram, it's Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.